Well, joining me now, Jenny Bowens, who, of course, was there at the time, reporting on all of these events covered in the news series. And here in the studio, Times Royal correspondent and author of Courtiers, The Hidden Power Behind the Crown, which is a must-read, Valentine Lowe. Great to see both of you. And Jenny, what do you think? We have to keep saying it's not a documentary, um, but a lot of people think it is. I'm afraid they do, and I think that's particularly true of the younger generation. I've been surprised by how many young people, my daughter's sort of age, in their, in their late 20s, 30s, who've known what I've done for all these years and taken not that much of an interest in it, to be honest, but suddenly are riveted by the crown and believe it. I mean, people say it's patronising to suggest that they don't uh, understand that it is fiction, but I'm afraid they do take it as, as gospel truth, and I've had to disabuse them of that. So it's dangerous territory now, I think, and too sensitive, too close to the knuckle. I mean, it's a story that doesn't really need to be sensationalised, does it? But there's, a, there's enough drama there anyway. You don't, you don't need to ramp it up. Well, exactly. Honestly, if, if you'd been reporting on it as I was, and I'm sure Valentine too, um, in the 90s, and this difficult, tumultuous, the Diana years, the times that I said, you could not make it up, could you? You know, suddenly you're, you're summoned to the office because Fergie's been found topless, having her toes sucked by her financial advisor. Um, Harry's been smoking weed, all sorts of things going on. Deaths, disasters, divorces, fires. You could not make it up. And yet, Peter Morgan has, and I don't think he actually needed to. It's interesting, isn't it, Valentine? I think it's a, it's a sensitive time right now, isn't it, with the Queen, sadly, the Queen dying, Charles is now king, there's a lot of interest, and then along this comes. How worried do you think they should be? Um, I think they are worried. Yeah. I'm not sure they should be, because in the end, it's just telly. It's, it's <laughs> popcorn time, it's entertainment. And, yes, Jenny's right, I think the younger generation do basically yeah. think it's true, but I'm not sure that that's... that's what necessarily moulds their impression of the royal family. Uh, and let's not forget that people behaved pretty badly at the time. I mean, although Ch the king is very sensitive about how he's portrayed, I mean, yes. some of the things he, he did, uh, let's, he, he broke his marriage vows, didn't yes, he? Yes, he did. You know, so he doesn't emerge from it you know, with his reputation unscathed. Mm. So um, I think they'll, they'll get over it. Um, and this tabloid campaign against um, the crown, it's hysterical. I mean, it, it goes over the top and I'm not sure what it achieves. I mean, It achieves more people watching, I think. Well, exactly. <laughs> more people that go, ooh, and I must watch this. About it. I mean, yes. Absolutely, but as you said, King Charles, as he is now, is a sensitive soul and this might yes. really wound him because, you know, he's at the stage now where he wants to, he's, he's thinking about his legacy already, I guess, and he doesn't want it to be tampon gate. Yes, but there's so much more for his, to his legacy than that. He should just ignore it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if they just said, it's a work of fiction, we don't comment, and left at that, and whoever behind the scenes is stirring up all these people to, to condemn uh, the Crown, yeah. I think it's counterproductive. I think, you, I think you could be right. I mean, Jenny, do you think they're likely to say anything? You know, there is this thing of, you know, never explain, never complain, that sort of idea. Um, do you think they will rise above it and people will forget about it in a few months or a few weeks? I think, uh, yeah, I think probably that is true, though uh, you have to remember that Prince William spoke out uh, very vehemently against the Panorama interview when the Martin Bashir fraud was revealed. And uh, the, the Netflix crown, this series, goes through that Panorama and uses it across two episodes, which I think is uh, insensitive. And I do think we have to think of William and Harry in all of this. I mean, how would anyone feel, how would you feel, if the tragic, traumatic and sudden death of your mother was being portrayed, which it will be in the sixth series. They've already been filming with a black Mercedes and um, paparazzi around it. Um, it was being portrayed for the entertainment of millions of people around the globe. I just think that is, it's picking at the scab on a bitter, raw wound that has been trying to heal for all these years. And I think it's unsavoury and should, should not happen. I think sometimes as well, Valentine, we forget that they are real people. I mean, William and Harry will hate it. I mean, any, you know, it's mortifying. They've got their parents talking about sex and they've got their parents sort of, you know, having affairs and it's just, and there it is, you know, in the glare. I guess they, it's going to be hard for them. It'll be tough. It, it will be hard if they pay any attention to it. Right. Do you not think they will watch, though? Do you think... 
Um, I I don't know, but I'm fairly sure they won't. And right. If they've got any because sense, they certainly won't. Yeah, and do yeah, exactly. Um, the depiction of of them is is quite interesting. I think particularly Diana. I mean, we can see we can actually there. We, we, we've done a split screen between the real events, and then it's quite remarkable, isn't it? I think she's I think she's got it. What do you think, Jenny? I think she has. I think in all of them, they tend to exaggerate the characteristics of the person they're portraying. And I think that she's a fine actress, of course, Elizabeth Debicki, but um, she does she, she does that thing in her head down and looking up, which Diana did, but not the whole time. Okay. Um, and what I've seen of these episodes of The Crown, I've seen several of them, it's just exaggerated, but right. uh, she's a fine actress. Well, let's look at what's fact and fiction then. Let's have a wee, let's have a wee look about that. I mean, there was this whole thing about Prince Charles, as he was then, conspiring with John Major to encourage the Queen to step down. Valentine, what do you think about that? Because that presumably didn't happen, or did it? It's it's just copper bottom piffle. It really... Piffle! <laughs> I love that word, piffle. <laughs> it's not used enough. <laughs> it really is. I mean, John Banger has already denied it. I think he called it a barrel load of nonsense. And perhaps, of course, he would. But, I mean, anyone who knows anything about the king just knows that's not the sort of thing he would do. It's just completely out of character and implausible. And that's where the Crown gets so, much, so many things wrong. Mm. It strays into implausibility. Yeah, exactly. And, Jenny, what about the speech that the Queen made from 1992? Do you remember when she called it her Annus Horribilis? Um, fact or fiction in the crown? I remember that, yeah. Uh, that is, is fact in that it happened. I was there at Guildhall. I remember the speech um, graphically. It was a dramatic speech four days after the Windsor Castle fire at the end of a year, which indeed was horribilis, um, in which her family really have been dubbed the most dysfunctional on the planet. Um, but what I don't understand is the fiction of Peter Morgan putting words in the Queen's mouth and having her pay tribute to her family in that speech. Quite frankly, at the end of that year, I think the family, the family should have been put in the tower and I think the Queen would have liked to put them there probably, <laughs> not pay tribute to them. No, so I don't understand that. Yeah, that was a, that was a strange time, Jenny. Thank you so, so much. And Valentine, thank you, the man that knows. <laughs> and your book's great because it really, I mean, you get such a, an, an inside look into what actually goes on, um, particularly from the people who, who do all the work, really. Fascinating, thank you. Thank and you. You can watch The Crown on Netflix today, uh, now. Well, wait till this is finished. Um, and Valentine's book, Courtiers and the Hidden Power Behind the Crown, is out now.